okay now we're gonna add base plates to this so up there it was on favorites up there you go second one down i think base plate and then you pick a base plate and i'm just going to do one of them and then you can extrapolate uh, uh for other connections to it's the same process and it's really you just have to use your eyes and uh, it's pretty straightforward okay so we're going to change that we're going to give it the layer base plate just so we can see it and we're going to click on that right click then advanced joint properties if you click advanced properties you just go to the properties of the plate now if you go click that advanced joint properties now we're talking about the properties of the connection entirely and that's what we want to manipulate so that everything moves at the same time in sync if you will so and then there's uh, options here there's holes and if you've got specifics uh this is where you can change the uh, whole diameter and whatnot this that arrangement uh then you have plates and what it is is uh see i'll give an example so leveling plate so if we want to add the leveling plate we click that see it automatically adds itself and we can change the the leveling the properties of the leveling plate say like projections you can say okay it projects out one projects out one projects out one see see and it the changes are made accordingly and if you're not sure always look at this number here one and look at the corresponding diagram here and find the one and you see that distance there that's the distance they're talking about so if you go to two projection one two that's on this side on this side of the beam then three is on that side four five and all these so the numbers here correspond with the numbers in the diagram there so you know what you're changing and then the shim place anchors whatnot there's so many things uh stiffness and uh, depending on what kind of base plate you want you can make pretty much many a, almost any kind of base plate from these options here then we go to base plate itself and uh, here uh, you see again here the one here is the thickness corresponds to that one in the diagram and then there's a uh, layout column sh short column shortening uh, plate thickness yeah this what this does is uh, uh the sh the sh column gets shorter they cut a piece of the column to fit the base plate so the original level is maintained so uh uh let's go on dimensions projections again uh these numbers corresponding to these and you can see if you click or oh, equal there then it's all these are the same but if you unclick that then you can change each projection separately so uh, uh, there's other options I, I don't know if I should get into all these I haven't used them all but uh, it's pretty self-explanatory again uh, you can fill it corners cut why not anchor uh, let's see what else do we need to know uh, anchors and holes here you can change any of these uh washer plate and like it's pretty straightforward and uh depending on the type of base plate you want to make you can change these properties and then uh what i came to find is uh, uh you go on library and you can save values so now we've saved the values of this particular base plate and uh, i believe we can change the name there too by going to edit yeah that one and we're going to call it our base plate how's that very creative okay click ok uh, and then we close we close that 
uh, okay now in the next video I'm going to show how we're going to copy that base plate and move, move it wherever we feel like so join me next time